Hello everyone. I recently took a look at the new museum by Big, the Twisted uh, Museum or Twisting Museum, and I'd like to recreate it quickly or recreate a rough sketch of it quickly. So here it is. You can see that it's uh, consisting of a twisting form. It's mostly rectangles going from one side to the other and it's forming a bridge so we're going to create this form in dynamo so you can explore different proportions and set the final uh, shape you want so to start off let's go to dynamo on to create rectangle by width length and plane now we want to insert a plane and this plane will have the origin be this point I'm doing this in a reversed manner so I want to create for example a series from 0 to let's say 100 with a spacing of mm, 1 or 2 for a start if we connect this to the Z you can see it's going upwards it's basically the same method that we would create a twisting tower with so let's connect the Y vector to the plane and then make the series going to the Y value not the Z now you can see it's going in the y direction and of course we're going to change the size so let's put some numbers 6 and 10 so here's basically the shape without twisting now we want to do a small twist on this so we can use the geometry rotate so this will be the geometry the origin will be the individual points the axis will be also the y axis degrees for a start to check this you can see that if we put 90 it changed all to 90 but what you want to do is create a list of uh, values that's ranging from 0 right here then changing gradually from 0 to 90 in this area then continuing on 90 so to do this I want to create a list of numbers so we'll start by writing for example 0 to 90 the A will be the number of the values in between so for example if I took count for the number of the rectangles it's the length of the list I can just do this uh, simple thing this will be a number slider this one I want it to be from 0 to 1 with with steps of 0 0.01 and you can see that this is not a round number so I want to make it round let's put the floor node so it minimizes the number and rounds it down so here it is 34 so 34 is the ratio of the number in regard of the total number so if I took this took another copy of this and 
you can see that I have numbers from 15 to 38 and this can be the if I created a minus b sorry so this is the 23 so this will have 23 values these 23 values will be the amount of the numbers let's just put this to manual and run it seems strange all right so you can see that this uh, value is arranging from 0 to 90 now I want to create this to make this a uh, part of a bigger list so we'll put a list join this will be the numbers in the middle in the beginning I want a list of zeros and in the end a list of 90 degrees values so to figure out the number I want I'll take this count which is 51 and I'll delete uh, the beginning say a minus b so using this I'll take this number the 51 and remove 38 from it Thirteen will go inside the of repeated items node. And we'll repeat the number zero. I'll copy this. The other item will be ninety but the amount will be the number 15 which is right here so you can see that these are the 90 degrees and these are the zeros and this list will be zeros then going to 90 and we have 50 is the last index and it's 51 items So now we want to hide all of this and plug this in. You can see that's basically resembling the shape. Now we want to make it smoother. So what we want to do is to make the spacing between the rectangles smaller. Let's put this to 1 and also I want to make it shorter let's make this um, 75 maybe 80 think this is fine so here's the shape now there's two approaches I can make the loft starting with the simpler method is to use loft using this uh, cross section rectangles inside the surface by loft component we plug this in and if we hide this you can see that we have a shape but it seems a bit of fractions right here to fix this let's try again to minimize the distances let's make this a half it's getting better there's also another method I can do is to if I hide this we can take these rectangles and explode them 
then taking the start or end point of the lines then transpose then using an herb scarf by points it may seem the lines can be a little bit better we can use the shift indices and make the amount 1 then create a list then transpose it you can see that these two lists with four indices and now we have four lists of two indices each now we can create loft so this is lofting again in another method let's hide those the good thing about this method is that each of the four surfaces is each one of the four surfaces is uh, separated so we can use it individually to do what we want we can take this side shape and convert it to a skylight uh, sorry to a window right here and a skylight like the project itself doing you can see it right here and this also narrowing down so this can be a little bit tricky to do but uh, we also can give some thickness to this uh, part so we can take this plane upwards and the floor and this side and make a uh, thickness for them and then combine them so let's try to do it now so we want to use first item node and rest of items node so I'll use this one so we can create this uh, thickness I want to use thickness using the option of both sides I want it to be false it's going outwards I want to make it going inwards and uh, slightly smaller so I make a value of minus 0.8 and you can see it's elegantly looking good let's hide those now I want to make intersections with the planes we created earlier with this solid but first off I want to make it one solid so I'll use union solid by union Here it is. Let's use intersect. And let's choose the planes. can see that we have these uh, thin layers we can now thicken them again so I want to use the surface thicken I 
want to put this to manual so we don't have to wait I'll thicken this and I'll want it to be from both sides the thickness for now I want it to be 0 0.2 and I want the spacing to be smaller seems we have some issues alright it seems unable to complete the thickened face we can do another thing is to make this 0 0.5 again and take a copy of those and change the spacing here this will be another thing that's separated I'll connect this in the other right here Let me hide all of this and run this again. Let's show this. Nice. Let's take this uh, shot and if we go back we can see the surface that we took, the first item. Let's show it. And it somehow resembles this shot. So this is a rough tutorial about how to create this uh, form it's a great one so hopefully in the future we're going to create something with uh, more detail